here is another example of finding derivative uh, you can say dy by dx of this kind of implicit function uh, you can say this kind of equation so uh, as I'm telling you since uh, many videos that whenever you get this kind of equation let me first write the equation this is 2x cube plus 3xy plus 2y squared equals to 0 and then you know you just have to differentiate left hand side as well as the right hand side with respect to x right and once you find out then try to collect all those dy by dx will come you know in left hand side as well as sometime in uh, depending on the question you you may get it in the right hand side so try to uh, try to collect all those dy by dx in one side and then take the common dy by dx and rest of this all whatever the common parts you will get you know just 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 send them into the other side and you'll finally get the dy by dx and the same thing i'm going to do here first i will differentiate both side with respect to x and then further we'll look okay so let's differentiate both sides with respect to x we get now d by dx of this whole quantity 2x cube plus 3xy plus 2y square equals to now d derivative of 0 with respect to x right both sides are now differentiated with respect to x and now what i'm going to get actually this is a kind of sum you know sum of uh, terms so i'm going to use the sum rule means one by one first i will find a derivative of this term and then second term and then third term all right so derivative of 2x cube with respect to x right and then again derivative of 3xy with respect to x and again derivative of this 2y square with respect to x and everybody know derivative of any constant uh, whether it's a number or anything that will be 0 alright so now in next step what I can do now see here since x and x is matching so no problem 2 is a coefficient and the complete derivative, derivative of this will be actually 3 times 2 6 and you know and x to the power 3 it is and 1 will be reduced so it will be 6x square I hope you are getting this all and then plus now here yeah, 3xy now 3 is a coefficient so there is no problem you can take it out but the problem is you know inside this if you look this x and y x is going to match we don't have any problem this y become here the problem you know this is the uh, main cul uh, culprit here uh, problem here to to solve this easily so what we'll be doing no problem again we are very smart in using product rule so we'll be using here product rule you know this y uh, this x will be supposing function 1 you can say u and y will be supposing function 2 uh, sometime uh, we had before we had imagine like a v so let's use the product rule in, in x and y what happens now see so in product rule what it is write the first function times the derivative of the second function and again write second function times the derivative of the first function right that's it and now let's talk about this part yes and here if you see again x and x is not going to match so in this case first let me uh, take out this 2 2 you know 2 is actually constant quantity uh, coefficient so let me put outside and now let's just talk about this y square right see it is not matching so first we need to differentiate this y square with respect to y and since y is another function than the x so we have to differentiate this y also with respect to x equals to 0 and now see here it will be 6x square and let me let me multiply this all right so it will be 3x dy over the dx and then plus this dx over the dx you'll get actually 1 uh, right uh, you cannot cancel like this by the way but in the place of that you can write 1 right so it will be 3y and uh, now 2 times now see derivative of y square with respect to y so it is uh, 2y and uh, dy over the dx dy over the dx and what is our second technique I have already informed you collect all those places all those terms where dy over the dx is hidden alright and one more term is there this so we'll be keeping this two into one side and rest of this will be sending into the another side so let's keep these two first first we'll be keeping this this yellow uh, circle thing all right so whatever it is 3x times dy over the dx and another yellow we have 2 times 2 that is 4y 4y times dy over the dx 
I kept those uh, these these two things into the uh, left hand side. So let's let's now put this six x square and three y into another side. All right. So you'll get minus six y, sorry, minus six x square minus three y because here they were in positive form. So in next uh, another side they will be negative. All right. This is very simple. You can easily understand. Now see here dy by dx. Wow. Oh, wow. Let's take common. So we can take this both thing into common and I'll be left with now 3x plus 4y. Oh, I need to give you a curly bracket too. And now see uh, this is uh, minus 6x square minus 3y. Alright. And next step since this is multiplication right. So this whole quantity uh, this 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 whole quantity can be written into the another side just 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 below them all right so we're doing the same stuff so it will be dy over the dx equals to now minus 6x square minus 3y and then whole this quantity is coming down here all right so it will be now 3x plus 4y and this is our answer so we got our dy by dx as minus 6x square minus 3y over 3x plus 4y. All right. So where was the question he was asking us? Oh, how, how do I know whether he or see? <laughs> Anyways, it's a neutral. And I got the answer here. Uh, what I had got? Well, I had got minus 6x square minus 3y. Minus 6x square minus 3y over what it was? 3x plus 4y. All right. 3x plus 4y. So we find out our dy by dx from this equation. And I hope uh, you understand this and you can solve similar type of the problems. Okay. So we'll be meeting in the next problem. A little bit difficult that will be. And there also we have to find out dy by dx. Okay. So we'll be meeting in the next video. Goodbye.